OKCupid is a dating site, and recently they warned Mozilla Fo Firefox users to stop using that particular browser because it has some issues with the CEO. Okay, so the CEO is apparently against the gay community. He, in fact, uh, donated $1,000 to the Prop 8 campaign here in California. Proposition 8 uh, banned same-sex marriage. So as a result, OkCupid decided, you know what, we are going to send a message to anyone who comes to our website using Firefox. So here's what they wrote. If you do use Mozilla, this is what you'll see if you go to OkCupid. We've devoted the last 10 years to bringing people, all people, together. If individuals like Mr. Ike had their way, then roughly 8% of the relationships we've worked so hard to bring about would be illegal. Equality for gay relationships is personally important to many of us here at OkCupid. Okay Those who seek to deny love and instead enforce misery, shame, and frustration are our enemies. Damn. And we wish them nothing but failure. Okay, Cupid. That was strong. That was strong. They started out all, you know, nice and subtle and stuff, and then they delivered a significant frickin' elbow on the top of the CEO of Firefox's head. Yeah. Man, fire in the foxhole. I think, I think that that takes a lot of courage as a company and a business, right? Absolutely. Now, no, that took significant balls on the part of OKCupid to do that, because what you're doing is saying to some not insignificant percentage of your audience, we're going to make it much harder for you to get into our website, and we're willing to lose this amount of traffic and hence business because of our principles. Now, it's also great marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, if OKCupid okay wanted to expand into, or I don't know what the state of their is. Apparently, they say eight percent of their are, of their clients are homosexuals, right? And so, if they want to expand more into that market, boy, that's a genius marketing mm -hmm. move, right? But it takes balls because you're going to get a lot of hate for it. Uh, you know, the, so you're going to lose some business. Of course, of course. Of so people who are politically some... against you, let alone the fact that you're going to lose immediate business because people have a harder time getting to your website. Right, exactly. And, and you're going to lose business to other dating sites. I mean, it's an oversaturated market. There's Christian Mingle. I'm sure that people will go to Christian Mingle if they're looking for a moral dating site, right? In their words, moral. Right. Um, but I like the fact that they did this. I think they're educating people about what the reality is about the CEO. Um, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be against an entire company based on the CEO's uh, beliefs on everything, you know what I mean? Because right, then, then right. you can't you can't shop anywhere, right? A lot of CEOs are unethical, or they have political ideology that doesn't line up with mine. So I think that it's a really interesting question to ask: Where do you draw that line? If someone is actively donating money to an anti-gay cause, well, that is already crossing the line for me. But I'm really curious how much it'll take for me to be like. All right, you know what? I don't necessarily agree with that, but it's, I'm not going to stop going to that company or that website. Yeah, you know, some people could see it as political intimidation. Because what if you did a, the opposite? You know, this CEO is an environmentalist, he wants to protect the earth. Go get him. <laughs> okay, I don't know right. if you ban somebody for that. Maybe that's a poor example, but, um, but so yeah, I get I get the concern. Uh, no question on that. But this goes to the core of their business. Like mm -hmm. they said, their whole job is to bring people together and they say the CEO is blocking that, so they're going to take action. It's not peripheral to their business, it's central to their business. Yes. And, and so it's, whether you agree with it or disagree with it, it is clearly an act of courage. OkCupid okay, still allows you to access their website using that browser. So what you have to do is read that entire message, or you don't have to read that message, you can scroll down, and at the very bottom there's a link that'll still take you through to the OkCupid okay, website. But this is their attempt at educating people about what's going on. Now, Mozilla Firefox has employees that are currently protesting their own CEO, and that also takes a tremendous amount of courage. So I want to give you some examples, and Again, these are all employees that work at the company. Uh, one person says, have waited too long to say this. I'm an employee of Mozilla, and I'm asking uh, Brendan Ike to step down as CEO. Another person says, I'm an employee of Mozilla, and I'm asking him to step down as CEO. A lot of people saying the same thing. To me, Mozilla is about openness and expression of freedom. I hope to see us have leadership that represents those values in their actions. Damn. You know, overall, what this says to me is that, uh, in this case, justice is on the march. And the guys against equality are reeling, and they're in a defensive position. Back in 2004, they were on the offense, okay, and they put a lot of these laws on the ballots uh, so that they could drive more Republicans to the 
a voting booth so they can get George W. Bush elected. That was a Karl Rove strategy. He used hate against the gay community mm -hmm. to get Bush the election in 2004. But now if you did that, you'd probably regret it. It's kind of amazing how much things have progressed with the, for the gay community in 10 years, in one right. decade. Yeah, no, it's, it's good news. It's great. It's great to see that clearly if they weren't winning, they wouldn't be on the offense like this, right?